Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you a beginner's guide to using text in Premiere Pro. The first thing I'm going to show you is actually how to create text in Premiere Pro. So there's two different ways of doing this. You can sort of use this shortcut down here and get the type tool, select it and then type out whatever you want it to say. Or another option of creating text is to go and click on file at the top, new, and then down here where it says legacy title click on that this does give you more options and um sub to choose from so i'd recommend doing this but if you just want to insert some quick text then i would use this one down here so then as long as you've got the type tool selected you can type out whatever you want your title to say so i want it to say youtube and here we have our title. So basically from here, you can highlight it by just clicking next to it and dragging along that will select it. And then you can choose different fonts. Um, the good thing about Premiere Pro as well, any fonts you download from online or your computer will automatically be put in with your other fonts on Premiere. So you don't have to worry about like installing them into the software or anything, which is really good and handy. So say I wanted a font like this but I wanted it to be bigger. How I'd do that is come up here where it's got the little T and the big T and that makes it bigger or smaller so you can just slide up to make it bigger and that will increase the number or slide down. You can also do it by just clicking on it and typing in a new number like so. But I want this text in the center so how I'm going to do that I'm going to go to where it says center here and you can just center it using these two buttons. But say I had some other text underneath, like so. I wanted that to be there. I'll just center alignment it using the paragraph, sort of aligners, so it's in um, aligned with the YouTube text, okay. So I also want to change the color of my font, so how I do that is where you've got sort of this sidebar, you just go down to color, and you click on the box and you can change the color. So say I wanted it red. Also, if you've got a color you want already, say I wanted this pink, that's on the timeline, I could just click on the eyedrop tool, grab the color I want and click, and there you have the color. I'm gonna stick with white for this one though. Also up here, you can choose how far you want your text to be together or apart. So say I wanted the letters to be more Part, you could do that or if you wanted close together then you do that so obviously you go down if you want them close together and up if you want them more spaced out and also if you did have text underneath and you wanted it to be closer to the text on top then you could just go up or down depending where you want your text to be spaced from the top text okay so once you've got your text how you like it you can just come off here and it will be down here with all your other video clips so you can just drag it in and there you have your text. I also want to show you a few quick sort of transitions and effects you can put on your text. I do actually have another video which was my video before this telling you how to do a cool um, typewriter keyboard effect so I will leave that link down below if you want to go check that out because that's a really cool easy effect but so I just wanted a quick transition in this I could just go down to video transitions and let's say I want a dissolve and I could just put a dissolve at the end so let's see what that looks like and it'll just dissolve out um, there's a lot of different things you can do honestly also yeah if you want it to last longer then you can just either do it this way and drag it out or you can do it from if you click on the effect this sort of effects will come up and you can basically just increase or decrease the duration you want your um, transition to last another thing I like to do is actually change the opacity of my font so how you do that is you would click on the video that has your font or text on and then just see where it says opacity i just turn the sort of keyframing thing off and then you can just turn it down but say you did want sort of a transition of um your text appearing then you could 
put the keyframe on, you know, turn the opacity right down, go to where you want it to be at 100%, drive that up to 100%, and then there's another way of transitioning um, your font to come in. So I really hope this gave you a quick sort of tutorial on using fonts and text in Premiere Pro. I will do other videos touching on this subject, but I just thought I'd do a really quick beginner's guide on how to do it. So I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!